guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got a Samsung Galaxy Fold. Now this is not a review unit, this is a phone I've borrowed from one of my friends, thanks Mario, um, to do a quick opinion on the actual phone itself. Um, as you can see it's got a custom skin because the phone is so slippery that it does actually require something less slippery, so he put a custom skin on it. Now. I really like the idea of the Galaxy Fold um, because usually I do tend to carry two devices with me, one for recording for example which is usually a phone or a camera and one for editing which is usually a tablet. Now obviously the, Gala the idea behind the Galaxy Fold is that you've got two devices in one and to be honest the execution of that is pretty decent. Obviously we've got the 512 of, uh, gigs of internal storage. Uh, we've got 12 gigs of RAM, which to be honest is pretty much a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus um, in terms of specs itself, apart from obviously that it falls out. And yes, you can see that crease, you can see the connection in the middle, but to be honest, that is obviously mainly due to the dark mode being on. In when the dark mode is not on, you can't really see it that much. And when you start watching videos, which I will show you later on, you actually forget about it, um, as long as the movie is decent, obviously. To be honest, I am quite impressed with the device itself, um, especially when it's unfolded, not when it's folded, because when it's folded, it's just a, a very small 4.6 inch display. I do see the future of the devices going like that, especially when you want to try and read something, as you can see the websites, it's absolutely brilliant. And then when it comes to multitasking as well, um, you can open not only two windows, which you can obviously resize and drag around if you'd like to as well, um, but there is an option as well, which I'm trying to figure out how it goes. Oh, here we go. Yep, so you can scroll and then you can open a Fed app as well. So if you'd like to, you can watch a video, reply on a messenger or WhatsApp, and then, I don't know, use Maps or Calendar, for example. So yes, you can use free apps. As long as they support normal split-screen multitasking, you can use uh, free apps. And obviously, if you like to, you can resize them to your liking. So it is a pretty decent powerhouse, I have to admit. Um, so, yeah. In terms of movies and videos and gaming, obviously, it all depends on if it's supported. I'm... <laughs> It's, it's a very strange experience when you fold the display. I, I mean, you know, you, you can see it in a video, but when you actually hold it in your hands and then when you try and close the device, it's 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 pretty weird experience when you see the actual display being thin and then folded. In terms of the camera, the specs exactly the same as on the Note. Now, what's cool is that when you fold it, um, you can still use the camera itself. Um, obviously, it is a box standard camera app. It does support a Filmic Pro and it does support Camera 2 API. However, that's on the Exynos variant. Um, so in terms of the Snapdragon variant, it doesn't support 60 frames, uh, for example. But you do get the 60 frames per second video recording 4K in normal um, stock camera app, but you can't adjust the white balance or um, uh, exposure value while you record videos. It does obviously work in the normal um, pictures if you'd like to. So yeah, camera itself, really easy to use, especially when you've got it open it up. But let's focus on the actual media consumption because this is what this device has been built for in the first place, to consume media obviously. So let's play something not that recent, to be honest. Well, let's let's go with that. So yeah, as you can see, um, when you go into full screen mode, so you've got two black bars. But if you'd like to, um, you can obviously, as it is with the Netflix movie, stretch it. And yes, you can see the crease, but that's because I'm recording against the light. Um, but when you fold the phone down, obviously you can carry on watching on the smaller screen if you'd like to. So it's nice that whatever you do on the big screen, when you fold the phone, it is still happening on the smaller screen and that you can stretch the actual device, uh, well, the actual video um, to the device itself. Okay, and let's have a look at, for example, 
YouTube. Let's look at quick expert reviews. Obviously, if you'd like to, you can adjust the keyboard um, to your liking in terms of size, but because of the connection in the middle, you can't really um, make it go across the whole screen. But it's easier to type this way anyway. Um, so let's have a look. Let's play something, I don't know, in full screen. I wonder if you can stretch that. Okay, that's interesting. So, unless there is a way of doing that somehow, uh, which I'm unaware of, uh, then, no, oh, that's a bit of a shame that there are black bars, but, as you can see, again, whatever you do carries on to the smaller 4.6-inch display on the outside. So yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye!